Hey there, once again, YouTube. You know, you're probably thinking, why am I back once again? This is going to be the second video of today. If you haven't seen my most recent video, go check that out right now. I uh, go into a lot of detail about the recent spasmodic tremor events in Hawaii, the recent uh, magnitude 2.6 in Washington State, the magnitude 2.6 in New York, and let's see, oh yeah, and the strong earthquake swarm in Albania, which was very, very interesting, and I also showed the Kansas earthquake in there as well. There's some interesting stuff I want to bring to your attention just real fast. But first, on my website, if you go to my website, again, a link is in the description box below under my email address. Go to Seismic Events, by location, click Hawaii. You will see my most recent post is called June 1st, 2019, More Spasmodic Tremor, where I go into a lot of detail about the five spasmodic tremor events, which I used to call DLPHFEs. I don't call them that anymore because the real name is Spasmodic Tremor. And I actually talked about these in my most recent video, and you can see some of them here on the heli plots. Going down, I show details about every single uh, of the five events that occurred in Hawaii. I include seismic audio to all five of them, so go check that out if you want. Also, under the More drop-down menu, if you'll notice up here under the More, go to Videos, Multimedia, My Videos. Once there, you'll notice it's a blog page. I'm going to start uploading all of my videos that I upload on YouTube on here. And this is completely independent. Notice it has its own HD video player. Completely independent of YouTube, just in case if YouTube decides to do anything finicky. You know how they are with that. Um, so I'm starting to do that as well on my website. Okay, let's get to what I wanted to talk about here. Something very interesting. First, let's start with this right here. So there were just a few earthquakes in New York that I talked about in the last video, right? Well, look at this right here. If it'll let me zoom in fast enough, come on, buddy. All right, there's a magnitude 2.0 at 7 kilometers in depth. Nobody reported feeling it off the coast of New Jersey right here. And if you watch Mr. M, well, what was it? Mr. MBB333, he noticed something very strange. And I thought it was very strange, too, from satellite imagery up in this location. Uh, it's on one of his most recent videos on his channel. Go check that out if you want. But the thing is, is this magnitude 2.0 at 7 kilometers in depth, not too far, but it's not in that location, though. But it is in a very strange location. Another earthquake for the East Coast. So let's check it out uh, from the closest seismic station and see what we can see. Oh, yeah. And by the way, this magnitude 2.0 at 7 kilometers in depth off the coast of New Jersey, off the East Coast, occurred on June 1st, 2019 at 9.49 UTC. Here we are in the seismic program swarm with the data from the closest seismic station, June 1st, 2019 at 949 UTC, 949.53 actually, and it took 16 seconds to arrive on this station. Looking at that data, we do see something right here. Apparently, they say this is the magnitude 2.0 at 7 kilometers in depth. Very, very strange looking earthquake. Check out the dominant frequencies just real quick. Very odd, very odd. Barely any lower frequencies, but I did add a 1 hertz high pass filter, but that should only delete frequencies below 1 hertz. But we do see there was a magnitude 2.0, very long lasting for 2.0 and very high frequencies. So it is very strange. It doesn't even look like I would have overlooked this. If I was the seismologist, I definitely would have overlooked this. But apparently it does show on surrounding seismic stations. So again, this is the 2.0 off the coast of New Jersey at 7 kilometers in depth. Very, very odd. But you can tell it does kind of look like an earthquake. But let's move on to the more important thing I wanted to talk about. Here we are back at earthquake.usgs.gov. There are two earthquake swarms today. Um, not too, too major, but very, very interesting. Pretty energetic. I want to talk about this earthquake swarm here just north of Las Vegas. And this one right down here near Los Angeles. Uh-oh. The volcano movie is going to come true. Where's Tommy Lee Jones when you need him? <laughs> okay, first off, let's talk about the earthquake swarm right over here, which I find very, very intriguing. Uh, the most recent one was a 1.3 at 22.9 kilometers in depth, but the largest of the swarm was a 3.5 at 2.2 kilometers in depth. The depths of these events are all over the place, guys. Look at this. 0.0, .0 kilometers in depth, 18.6, 25.6 kilometers. The depths are all over the place, which I find is very odd. If you turn on U.S. faults. Now, remember, just because something occurs on the fault doesn't mean magma cannot come through that fault. Remember, faults are weak points in the crust, so really... If, let's say there's a fissure eruption, they're more likely to erupt, if there's a fissure eruption, more likely to erupt along a fault. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying this is volcanic in nature. I'm not saying that at all. But this swarm does look eerily reminiscent of the rapid fire swarms that do strike Yellowstone from time to time, which I found very, very intriguing. 
They're only reporting 27 earthquakes, but there have been more. We'll take a look at the seismic data in just a second. Again, the largest was 3.5. Likely nobody felt this because, I mean, there are some people around here, but this is somewhat of a desolate area, somewhat. Uh, so why don't we go take a look at this from the coastal seismic station in the seismic program swarm and see what this earthquake swarm looks like. Very intriguing. Again, 27 being reported, but there were some more than just 27 earthquakes. So let's check that out just real fast. So here we are back in the seismic program swarm. First off, earlier in the day, there was a local earthquake at about 823 UTC, June 1st, but it doesn't look that big. Here's a spectrogram. High frequencies. It looks like a normal tectonic earthquake, but going forward... If it'll let me, there we go. Look at all these earthquakes, guys, and let's check it out. Let's use the spectrogram first, shall we? And the data does cut in and out, for example, right here and some other areas as well. The data does cut in and out, but we still can get a good look at this earthquake swarm. Multiple 2.8 to 3.0 earthquakes pretty much in a row. Notice the rapid fire characteristics that are indicative. I'm not going to say it's not tectonic. It's very possible it is just a straight tectonic event. But the thing is, is this seems very energetic, very closely spaced. A lot of the earthquake swarms at Yellowstone that uh, have a rapid fire, that are of the rapid fire variety, in my opinion, are either caused by magma or magmatically derived fluids, such as hydrothermal fluids, hydrothermal activity underground, or just plain old magma itself. But the thing is, is this is very interesting, very energetic, looks just like the rapid fire swarms that occur at Yellowstone, doesn't it? Very similar. Very, very similar, pretty much in every single way, actually. Except they are a little bit too spaced. Sometimes the energy is there to call it a rapid fire swarm. Sometimes it isn't. But let's keep going forward. I'm not seeing any low frequency earthquakes. Not seeing any low frequency background tremor, which is a good sign. But this earthquake swarm in the past 24 hours, actually, I'm going to say probably in the past five hours or so, very energetic. Very, very energetic. I really wish the station was not cutting in and out. Because there are probably some earthquakes right here in the middle that we missed. I bet you anything. But going forward, we still do not see any low-frequency earthquakes. Keep going forward. Again, this is the earthquake swarm in Alamo, Nevada. Right in the middle of earthquake country. Yes, they do have a lot of earthquakes out there. Mainly a bunch of cinder cones, guys. There's old volcanic activity all around there. Keep going forward. It was calm for a little bit, and then boom, we got another earthquake right there. Then it was pretty calm for a while. Little teeny tiny microquakes here and there. And then boom, we see two more. Keep going forward. Couple there. Keep going forward. Still a few more. Still a few more. Let's see what's this. Ah, yeah, this is interesting. Look at this puppy dog right here. That has some lower frequencies, but that could be a regional earthquake. At 0024, do not know for sure, but that is possible that... Eh, it goes beyond 10 hertz. Maybe not a low frequency earthquake. I don't know. I'll leave that up for you guys to judge. I don't have a lot of time to do this video, but I was very intrigued by the two earthquake swarms I'm going to show you guys today. Two more earthquakes right there. Then we had another earthquake right here. All of them have high range frequencies except for that one I just showed. And then this is the most recent, the magnitude 3.5. Here is the most recent right here. Pretty strong, guys. Pretty strong earthquake swarm occurring in Nevada. Nothing too, too crazy. Not yet. But it does have a good amount of energy. Look, here's three in a row right here. Very, very interesting. Here's another one right here. Dominant high frequencies. Check out the waveforms. Very interesting. So we'll see where this is headed in Alamo, Nevada. There is currently an earthquake swarm that is ongoing, with the largest being a very shallow at 2.2 kilometers in depth, and a very shallow magnitude 3.5. Could this be leading up to a larger earthquake? I don't know. But let's move on to the last earthquake swarm I wanted to mention, which in my opinion might be a little bit more important than this one. All right, here we are back at earthquake.usgs.gov. Just to make sure nothing major happened, let's go to world just real quick. Let's see, there was a magnitude 5.2 in Indonesia. Let's see, Volcano Hawaii saw another one. Let's see, are there any more? New Madrid, Missouri saw magnitude 2.2. This has been a very interesting 24 to 36 hours. The past 24 to 36 hours has been very interesting, very intriguing earthquake storms, especially in Albania which I talked about, it's along the border of Albania and Greece. Very strong earthquake swarm, many magnitude 5s and magnitude 4s as well. I have no idea what's going on there in Albania. Very interesting. I looked at all that stuff in my most recent video, so go check that out if you wish. Let's see, Pahala, Hawaii, just about an hour or two ago, they saw magnitude 2.4, 39.5 kilometers in depth. 
They're reporting this as an earthquake might be another spasmodic tremor event because we did see five of them during the UTC day of June 1st, 2019. That's not what I want to talk about, though. Let's go down to California. Let's go down to Los Angeles. I want to show you something. Let's go all the way. I've noticed the count 104, and we're all the way down here already. Very intriguing. 90. Keep going in. 80. My goodness, we have a very concentrated swarm right down here. Just, let's see, is this San Andreas? I believe this is the San Andreas, right? There, the major fault line running through California is the San Andreas Fault. I believe my computer just froze on me. What is going on? Yep, that's the San Andreas. Just to the, I'm going to say southwest of San Andreas. Let's see. Los Angeles is just right over here, I believe. Yep, here's downtown Los Angeles. Actually, downtown Los Angeles had a 1.4. 4.3 kilometers in depth, nothing crazy. They get earthquakes all the time, all around here. The thing that I find very, very interesting is just to, let's see, north northwest of Glen Avon. Please tell me if I'm saying that wrong. Glen Avon or whatever, right down here. If you guys live in this area, you're right near Los Angeles, near I'm gonna say, what is that? These are pretty shallow too, guys. These are pretty shallow, all of them are under 10 kilometers in depth. They're much more shallow than 10 kilometers in depth. Very, very shallow, very interesting. Uh, right along, what is that? Mulberry Avenue and Jurupa Avenue in California near uh, Los Angeles. So let me know if you guys have felt anything in this location right here. Very concentrated earthquake swarm. They are reporting about 70 just in this one little patch. That's only what, like a mile or two? Very, very concentrated. So I'm going to use, I'm going to try to use the closest seismic station to this event and see why there are 73 earthquakes in the past 24 hours just for this small little area right down here. Let's see what the largest reported event was. Let's see, largest magnitude first, 3.1. Very interesting. Apparently a few people did feel it. The 3.1 was at 2.5 kilometers in depth. Then we had multiple 2.6s, 2.0, 1.9, 1.9. Multiple ones. The majority of the swarm is made up of ones and 0.7s. A lot of 0.7s and 0.8s. So nothing too, too crazy, but let's check it out in the Seismic Program Swarm. Here we are in the Seismic Program Swarm with data from RVR Station from the CI Network from the SEDC Data Center. Uh, broadband vertical, no location code given. So we do see many earthquakes. A lot of these are the reported earthquake events that are occurring down there. Very, very, very high frequencies, guys. Notice how these are not lasting long at all. Very brittle fractures that are occurring and very shallow depth. I do not know what this is being caused by because in my opinion, there are there are no fracking operations. Because sometimes fracking operations, the earthquake thing, look just like this. They do not last very long, have some very high frequencies, and almost look like something just went pop, just like that. Um, but I do not believe there are any in this location because this is just right under a residential area, I believe. I believe this is right under a residen uh, residential area, excuse me, only at a few kilometers in depth, so they are pretty shallow. Again, about 70 to 73 of them being reported in the past 24 hours. You can see many of them here on the plots. Notice no, a lot of these earthquakes do not even have any lower frequencies. Check this out. Let's go to the spectra plot, shall we? Log power log frequency off. Let's see. There we go. Barely any low frequencies below 5 hertz. The majority of the frequencies for a lot of these earthquakes are from 10 hertz and beyond, basically. So these are very, very interesting. I do not know why these are occurring, but there is an earthquake swarm going on in two locations. Uh, geographically, somewhat near each other. In Alamo, Nevada, which those earthquakes last a much longer time. I'd way rather believe those are being caused by fluid or magma itself. But these ones here, in my opinion, are definitely tectonic in nature. But I really hope you guys keep an eye on the Alamo, Nevada earthquake swarm. That one really has me scratching my head. I mean, not so much that, uh, that I'm confused. I just, uh, I, I, let's just watch it. Let's just watch and be careful. Just watch and be wary. And if you live near Alamo, Nevada, just have a backup plan just in case. Because random cinder cones have popped off a lot over there, guys. And uh, let's see, in California, they say a volcanic eruption in, in some way, shape, or form. Some type of volcanic activity does occur once every 100 years. In the past 1,000 years, it happened 10 times. On average, about once every 100 years. It has been 102 years since any type of volcanic activity. And that was at Lassen Peak, which is the southernmost volcano in the Cascade Range, which is far in Northern California. 
So it's been a while since Southern California has seen any type of volcanic activity. So I'm not saying that we're overdue, but it is very possible that we could be approaching one. But there really is no sign of that right now at all. That's just my opinion and what the professionals have said in their publications as well. Again, a lot of these earthquakes have been reported 70 to 73 in the past 24 hours for this location. And then just the past couple hours, they have gotten a little bit stronger. So it is interesting to note that the increase in seismicity in this location almost coincided perfectly with the increase in seismicity in Alamo, Nevada. Not saying they're connected, but maybe something is driving both forces? I, I don't know. I don't know. As of the most recent data stream, as of 8.36 p.m. Pacific Time, June 1st, 2019, we see the last, let's see, the last earthquake, I believe, is this one right here. Yes, it is. Dominant high range frequencies, barely any low frequencies, which has me very puzzled. Usually with earthquakes, we see lower frequencies. But with these, we barely see any low frequencies at all. Very interesting. And there we go. So we do have some large-ish earthquakes that are striking California and Nevada. And very, very interesting, guys. So let me know what you think about that. Again, check out my website. I am updating it. I'm doing my monthly update right now. I'm uh, putting that together for you guys. It'll probably be a few more days until that's out. It takes me a little while to get it done because it's very long. It's like over an hour video, guys. But at least you can, ha you can have the parts section to skip to a part that you want. Again, let's go to the world just to make sure nothing happened while I was recording. So really nothing much else has happened since I started recording. Again, we have that earthquake in Hawaii, and I believe one more spasmodic tremor event occurred. I haven't looked at that yet, so I do not know for sure. Um, basically, Alamo, uh, blah, 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 blah. Alamo, Nevada had another small earthquake. Guinevon still having those very tiny poppings of the crust. And again, we had a 2.2 on the New Madrid Fault, Missouri, at 6.3 kilometers in depth. And real quick here, the waveforms to the magnitude 2.2 that just struck the New Madrid Fault just in the past hour or so at 8.39 p.m. Pacific Time, um, June 1st, 2019. Spectrogram, barely any lower frequencies. Very strange how we're seeing a lot of those lately. Let's go to the spectra plot just to show you. Yeah, barely any lower frequencies below 5 hertz. So very, very high frequencies. And a lot of the earthquakes that have been occurring lately, especially in California and the New Madrid area. Very interesting. Don't know if anybody felt this or not. But then again, and then we have a downwards going P wave. So on the station show, showing a uh, dilatation. Very, very interesting. So I will be back soon, guys. God bless and have a great day.